So, this is the camera application right here. Ta-da! Let us push. And let us go in. Now, as I said before, there actually are two ways to get to this app. You can do it that way, or another way you can do it is uh, when using the camera shortcut, which is right here, just hit the DSi camera button right there. And then hit start. It'll be brought to the actual camera application. As you can see. So let us go on ahead and take a photo. We have actually, let me show you guys first of all this basic screen here. DS card, or SD card. DS card, what the heck. Uh, and here is system, which I have way too many photos in. And uh, let's cut this volume down. I hope this isn't really, uh, isn't really intrusive to my voice or whatever. So this is the, uh, let's take, let's take, take a picture with the uh, SD card in right now. So, um, here's, uh, the photo taking area here, I guess you can say. We've got all these different lenses. I'm actually going to take a picture first, though, and then I'm going to actually show you, I think so. Let us try and take a photo real quick of, well, and I actually would like to get a face in there, so let's see if this will work. This part will be interesting. Okay, there we go. Now, if you want to see the photo, just take a quick look at the top screen because there will display the previous photo you just took. But we are mostly interested in the um, in the lower screen at the moment, so let us go back to this menu here and let us hit album. Now, these are all the th options you have to um, to. Uh, these are all the different options you have for um, looking at your photos. You can scroll around using the photo. Ugh, disgusting picture. Delete. Yes, I don't know what the crap I do sometimes. I just this this camera application is way too dang amusing. Yeah, so you can do that, or you can also use a slider here to quickly scrub through your photo albums. Here, let me see if I can get my hand out of the way. Let's see how that works. And um, you can also, if you tap the photo, pull it full screen. You can zoom in even. Yep. Uh, you can put stickers on it, a clover or a heart, or just take them away. You can also upload your photos directly to Facebook if you want to, which is absolutely really cool. You can delete the photo, you can edit the photo, which is what we're interested in right now. Um, yeah, so let me real quickly take you guys through the photo editing process if you're interested. So this is the distortion mode. We can restore this. And what this actually allows you to do is it allows you to, um, is it allows you to actually manipulate your photos around a little bit. Uh, as you can see like that. Restore. We can pull stuff around make things look very very unusual something else you can do you can actually make things expand but you need to be right handed to do this which I don't think Nintendo thought of you can also make things shrink you can also spin things around both ways it is very 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 interesting we'll quit that this is graffiti clear that you can draw you can uh, either you have your choice of either drawing on it with a small, medium, or large line size. And you also get a few color choices. You get yellow, red, blue, white, black, and rainbow. Now you might be thinking that that's it, but there's also an eyedropper tool which you can use to pull a specific color from the photo. You also have an eraser and if you uh, draw something like that and you don't want it you can erase certain portions of it instead of having to clear it all at once. You can also use little um, stamps here like stars something like that, flowers, clovers, 
leaves, and paw prints. Stuff like that. And cloud, or that. So that's graffiti. And you can also save your work if you want to. Here is color. I can't really demonstrate this here because of the weird way my lighting works. But basically it allows you to... Yeah, you can kind of see what it's trying to do. It makes it, um... So that way, um... You can make certain co areas of a black and white photo color. Uh, while keeping everything else black and white. It doesn't work as good as it does in, say, Photoshop or something. But, uh, you know... Here's something that does very similar to it. Uh, what it basically, what this one basically does is allows you to change the color of like a shirt or something. But the lighting of my house doesn't really allow that, so it's really hard to do it. Um, and it does, it works okay when it, you know, it does work. But yeah, let's take a look at the next one, which is mirror. This is one that's pretty cool. Um, you can do two mirrors. Oh wow. Yep. You can do a triangle. You can just sort of spin it around. And here is our uh, square. And if you want to, you can save it if you want to. By hitting the complete button. Alright, let's see if this works. Oh, come on, come on, come on. You have to work. You, there's clue. Oh, okay. Well, um, it's not working, but this one basically allows you to... Basically has face recognition. And uh, what it'll do is it'll actually... um. It'll essentially put a mustache on you exactly where a mustache should go. It'll put like a pig's nose or something like that. I I can't demonstrate it with this particular photo, but it does work pretty good. Um, this is Emoter. Again, it basically makes you look happy or sad or angry. Can't do it though because it's not finding the face. Here is Merge. And what this allows you to do is if you have a friend, you can take a photo of your face and take a photo of his face and sort of combine them together into one very interesting looking photo. Again, I can't really do it. And last but not least, resemblance. The face is not recognized. Now there's one more lens that you can't go into with the actual photo edit, so I have to come back to the camera mode to show you this one. And that would be frames. <clears throat> so here's frames. Basically what it allows you to do is you can uh, basically put yourself in a frame. Uh, we can go ahead and adjust the angle here and get the camera in that if we wanted to. We can also choose from different pr frames. Uh, frames that we've either created or frames that are built in. I'll show you how creating a frame works here in just a little bit. So here are all of our different choices of frames. Here, you know what, let me show you the top screen because that's better. So there's Mario face. Let's actually go all the way back to the beginning. There's that. And I'll just sort of scroll through them. And uh, you can also create frames too, which I'll be showing you how to do here in just a little bit. You can see that. And that's the last of the pre-built ones. Some that I actually put together myself. There's one of the Rubik's Cube. There's one of a camera. A uh, TV. Uh, poker chip. Just a bunch of random stuff that you can use. And now I'm going to show you the process of creating a frame. So back to the photo taking thing if you hit create frame you can choose either an existing photo whoops let me actually come back down to the bottom screen you can either choose an existing photo right here or you can take a new photo let's just take a new photo real quick <clears throat> okay let us go into the back camera here we'll put a poker chip right there Or we'll actually, you know what let's actually do, we'll put a, a game card right here. I'll actually pick this up so I can get a pretty good angle on it. Some dirt on our screen. Okay. And there is our photo. Switch, switch the camera back. Oh, you can't until we have a little bit exposed. So... What you basically now are allowed to do is you're kind of allowed to carve out the viewing area and you can change the eraser size right here. Let us switch actually to the front camera so you can see a little better. And basically what you do is you just carve it out. And let's say you make a mistake and you accidentally do something over here with the fill pen. 
you can fill it right back up. Which is pretty cool. So I'll just quickly, uh, I'll quickly do this. There. As you can see, it's a little bit, a little bit interesting. A little bit, it's a little bit hard to do for some reason. Uh, this would actually be <clears throat> perfect for a DSi XL. Uh, this particular functionality here. We hit complete, save frame. Yes, we can now save the frame, and the frame has been saved. So now, what it'll do is it'll now allow us to actually take a photo with our new frame. So I can get in here. Uh, this is horrible. Just, just take a photo. And then it takes a photo. As you can see, just like that. And it's all the way up here at the top screen. Lovely, isn't it? Yes, indeed it is. We'll adjust the camera angle a little bit so you can see it panning around and yes so that is that and again if we want to ac access it it is uh, right here now and there is our little preview of it so those are frames let us now go back to the camera mode menu oh as you can see up here that is actually a calendar um, Let's actually take a look at what all I can do with the calendar right now. So we come back down here. You'll see right here there's a calendar button. We hit it. It brings it down. All right. Let's go in here. We'll write a memo for this photo that we just took, which, by the way, if you're not sure what that photo is, it is that one. The one that we took a little bit earlier. So let me show you. We're just going to write a quick memo. Uh... Yeah, okay, whatever. And as you can see, it brings the memo up to the top screen. Oh, wow, it just changed it all of a sudden. Anyway. Yes. So, that is the calendar, and we can go through here and take a look at all the different months that we've had it in. 8, 20, and I think I had a little bit in. No, I didn't have it at all. So I got it. No? A second, that's interesting. I don't know, okay. Anywho, let's get out of there, and let's take a look at the other section here. This the music, by the way, cut it up a little bit. Um, so, what you can do, if you have someone else who has a DSi, you can actually exchange the photos with them, but you can't, you can't do it between two D a DSi and a DS Lite, or a standard DS, obviously. This is something only for two DSIs, so I couldn't send a photo to someone with a DS Lite for some reason. Uh, I can actually copy from system memory to SD card. This is actually works great for backing up your photos. And by the way, in case you're wondering, the SD card is located in this little slot here. You would need a card reader, obviously, to do this, but mine is right here. It is a one gigabyte, actually. You don't need a big SD card for your DSi, by the way. It doesn't use up much memory. And uh, it's got plenty of space on it left. So, uh, that's that. And here's the, uh, you can actually go in and you can delete photos in bulk or individually. And this is just a brief tutorial on how to use a DSi camera. You'll actually watch that tutorial the very first time you open it, though. Okay, that is the camera application. That is all I need to show you on that. So now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the sound application, which might not be the most in-depth walkthrough because I don't use it that much, but we'll try and make it as in-depth as possible.